Hello guys, we need a new engine. And for those of you who didn't see, I lit it on fire. Here's just a little bit. I'll pop the hood to show you the rest. But we may just have an engine for it already. I literally burnt it down this morning. And I'm hoping I have an engine for it. So, we're going to find out. It's burnt up. I don't know what all was on fire over here. This was not on fire over here. This came off the carburetor right there. But all of this see the black marking was i have that i took the battery out i ran it and i backed it up and it conked on me this is all gonna go we're gonna take strip it all out everything it's gonna be nothing we're gonna take the heater core off off i might reuse that but i want to fix some stuff like this with it out of the vehicle um fix all that fix rebuild get everything new uh, while we're while we're at it probably maybe put disc brakes on the back full new brake system um i completely fried this power steering that's uh all that's a connector i think all the wirings out bad the distributor is right down here this is a spark plug wire that's part of the distributor cap that came off the back of the alternator is melted all the all the rubber parts the w rubber on the wire is completely completely fried it's all coming out the whole engine was we're gonna pull it out and I'm gonna stuff a 302 in. That's the goal. Was I know I thought maybe the fire started here because this header in particular, I will post a picture of that right now, has uh gets red hot at an idle. I don't have to run it. It just it just gets red hot. So I thought the fire started here when it was on fire, but I got the fire out and started assessing it a little better. That's melted. I started assessing it a little better. And I think I got crossed wires down there. Or I got a backfire out the fact that my carburetor is stripped out and ruined. I don't know what happened, but I just tightened this the other night and it is all sloppy again. So I think something is goofed up there on that. And yeah, I just got, got a, lot of, a lot of damage to it. So, melted stuff. Am I out of... I just filled the thing with coolant. Like, last time I ran it. So, I think this is... Sorry, I had a little issue there. This is uh, black, burnt... Where did I lay that cap? The radiator cap. Uh, oh, it's literally right in front of my face. Well, we got all that. This is ruined. This is my beautiful Edelbrock air filter. It's burnt black. Ruined the chrome. It's inside of there. Already got some sort of crust full forming on it. And it just happened this morning. So that's damage to the fire. The whole hood is all black underneath. We're gonna go and pull this off. I'm not sure. I might pull it off, everything off, clear back to here. And everything front. We'll do repair work on the quarter panels up front while it's part. It is safe to say that the truck does not 
So, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, build. I'm going to hopefully get to pulling the engine out here soon within the next few, I'd really like to within the next few days. Oh my goodness. Oh, that it didn't melt metal. I thought that was melted metal for a second. Um, I'd like to get to pulling this engine out in the next few days. Maybe it'll be a few weeks, but it won't be too long and I'll have this engine out. Um, we'll start ripping into it and taking the thing apart. And uh, I'll probably have the engine hauled off pretty quick. I'm, I'm done with it. I want to keep... So... That's the damage. And that's the plan. That's what I want to do with it. So we'll see. We'll see if we get an engine here within the next few days and uh, we'll get her back up and going.